friends, it's me, and today I am here with me, Digital Max. So today we're gonna be checking out some funny kids. Kids are naturally funny. So mother allowed these children to take a bubble bath by themselves for the very first time, and guess what they just done did? Threw themselves a snow day. Did you ever do that as a kid? What overflow the bubble bath? Yeah. No, I did it as an adult once. If I did this, <laughs> I would just get. I would just hide in the bubbles. <laughs> if you have a jet tub and then turn on the jet while you have bubbles in or like throw a lush bath bomb in there, this is how you get this. That's like 10 lush bath bombs. No, I did it with one. Really? Look, I put one lush bath bomb. Oh my god. And I turned on the jet tub and it went ham. Oh no, this is <laughs> what happened. Good thing it was in the hotel, not my house. Jet tub plus bubbles equals big fat oopsie. Oh no. He followed his dreams, became a traffic cone. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted to do was stop the cars. They kept going and I wanted to stop them. But I ended up stopping myself. <laughs> Did you leave him there? Yeah, what? <laughs> Bye. Let him wallow in self-pity. I became what I was always meant to become, an accident. <laughs> To mom, let me outside or I will break this family from heaven. <laughs> this bloodline ends with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tear down this family tree. When you go on ancestry.com, search up the family, you ain't gonna get nothing. I'm the last one you I'm say. <laughs> I'm gonna break this family. Whoa. I wonder what's outside that he wants so bad. What's outside, Evan? Blink if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> Just learned our nine year old did an experiment on us. Lost tooth, told no one for three days. Kept tooth under his pillow, no money. Then he tells us he lost a tooth. Next night, there's money under his pillow. Then confronted us with scientific evidence that the tooth fairy isn't real. This kid just like signs the heck out of his parents. Where did he get this idea? Who is he watching? Bill Nye, the science guy? I bet the parents made up this story. <laughs> All that for a drop of clout? <laughs> Yeah, freaking MD dad. MD. <laughs> <laughs> this child's dollhouse. We got a bronchosaurus in the bathtub. We got a T-Rex taking a bite out of the dresser. What is that? Did he, is that a croissant? I was wondering what that was. <laughs> that's a croissant. And then a pony having dinner. Ooh, this is my kind of house. Maybe that's an oven. He's not taking a bite. Maybe he was getting the croissant out of the oven to have with the pony. Oh, this is very cute. This that's adorable. This is what happened before Jurassic Park. They all used to live in peace under the same roof. <laughs> <laughs> Can you name a good majority of dinosaurs? Yeah. Okay, let me hear it. Name me five. Stegosaurus, Bronchosaurus, Velociraptor, Platypus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. T-Rex, Pterodactyl, Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex. <laughs> Isn't that this that's a made up one? Who's <laughs> one from the Jurassic Park? Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> So this child gave his grandpa a card that says, I'm glad you're not dead. I'm just a train. <laughs> Cause what else do kids know how to draw? <laughs> Mom be like, draw something nice for your grandpa. He just got out of the hospital. He's been having a really hard time. You know what grandpa? I'm glad you're not dead. My three year old daughter said she needed raisins. <laughs> Good, right where raisins belong. Well, that's what raisins do. They make you poop. Do they really? Yeah. Aren't they just dried up grapes? Yeah, because they got fiber. I mean, Barbie gotta do what she gotta do. She just like the rest of us. It looked like they had a wild party. I know, man. You got a, we got Ariel in there. They must have had Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gotta keep it realistic. Mattel don't make poop. <laughs> So this child is trying to get into his mom's iPad and every time he gets a code wrong, it sends a photo of him trying to get in. It sends a so, picture of your smug face. Yeah, so as you can see, exhibit A, the child over here trying to get in. Nope, he didn't get it. Third time, nope, he didn't uh, get fourth it. Fourth time, he's a little more frustrated. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> what was the passcode? You're telling me it's not 1111? What could it possibly be? Fifth attempt. He's getting a little upset. <laughs> Starting to break down now. Little upsetty spaghetti. And then the last attempt, he just done had it. Denial. Oh no, I'll never be able to play Roblox again. No, I'll never be able to watch my favorite YouTuber, Sniper Wolf. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> she just uploaded. Just, the tears, he got the notification on the screen. It was like, I can't unlock the phone. <laughs> I need to hit that like button, please. In the face! <laughs> Y'all know what happens when you put Mentos in Coke. But Mentos is a fresh maker. Yeah, but not in soda. Or this will happen. This kid was like, okay, you know what? I want to get the full experience what happens, but I want it in my face, into my eyeballs, to really get a taste of how diet this really is. When you can't even splurge for actual cola. You didn't even get like a name brand. 
Diet Cola. It doesn't just burn his eyes, burns his taste buds. Oh, that off brand hurt. My sister just had a baby. She brought her home today, and my other niece was so mad that she packed up all our stuff and tried to leave. Four years old, already leaving home like, okay, you know what? There's a new baby in the house. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Apparently, there's no more room for me in your heart anymore, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't enough room for the two of us. Good, I only wanted one child anyway. <laughs> Make sure you lock it on your way out. Chump. <laughs> love me no more. Goodbye. Take stuff there. Well, is that keys? Did she take the car keys? <laughs> she about to flee the country. All because mama had another baby. <laughs> when your three-year-old tells the man at McDonald's his pants are falling down. <laughs> <laughs> kid coming up to you like, excuse me sir, pull him up, I see your chonies. <laughs> <laughs> I see your chonies. My brother is exactly like that. <laughs> what you want, little homie? You lost, you want some? <laughs> My daughter's Christmas list. Cat, chat. Gato. Catsy, cat. Oh, it's cat in every freaking language. Took me a second. What language do you want me to say it in, mother? Here are 16. Now I better see a cat under that tree, okay? I would write no in 16 different languages. Merry Christmas! And I would dab on her. <laughs> now that's a victory right now. Back to the orphanage with you. <laughs> Keep the earth clean. It isn't Uranus. Keep it clean. Smash like if you get it. If you don't, you're too young. <laughs> Hygiene is always good. Toddler was asked to feed the cat. Here you go, a nice juicy orange for you. Isn't that what cats like? Ain't Oranges? <laughs> Ain't gonna pill itself. <laughs> <laughs> you got claws, I'm sure you can, you can manage. <laughs> what if it goes up to it, takes a bite, like, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> peel and everything. Do you think there are pe disgusting people like that in this world that eat it with the peel? Yeah. That just straight up take a bite out of an orange? That's where all the flavor at. The peel? Yeah, all the aroma. When I babysit my niece, she makes me play Operation. Her favorite part is when she dies and we have a funeral for her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the people that didn't show up. <laughs> Relaxing me living my best life like chilling on the dog, but I like how the photos are just her by herself <laughs> Forever a loner and then the one brother like pretending to cry. Oh, no, we lost another one. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> does she tell him to just kneel down and pretend to cry? I guess this is like a spa. You got a blanket you laying down you got candles lit flowers Maybe you got some soft music playing in the background. This is the ultimate spa experience. She's gonzo. She can't enjoy it? Oh, rest in peace. Can I get an F in the chat for this little girl? Oh. What is this? Oh no! My mom said this is one of my favorite things to do as a child. Oh my god, that looks so fun. It took me a second. I'm like, wait, wait, where, where's the rest of her? <laughs> That's it. That's all of her. That's it? <laughs> she had half a kid. There's no more. So anytime she buys clothes, it's all half off. Oh, nice. <laughs> Perks of having half a kid. <laughs> is this like that show, Two and a Half Men? <laughs> <laughs> My friend's son struggling to pick up a book. Oh, you know he's gonna grow up to be a smart one. Why doesn't this book pick up? It's like, it's so heavy. It's like glued to the floor or something. I wonder what's going on in this kid's head. Like, why I cannot? Why you no do this book? Need nap in a bottle after he figures this out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's with all these half kids? I'm so blessed that I was a full kid. You know, <laughs> some of these kids come out mm. just the pants. Maybe the rest of them grows. You know, I, I, I don't think they had it in mind when they said you'll grow into your pants. But um, <laughs> I hope he's warm and cozy in there. Yeah, you normally are. Must be nice. I do that with my pants now. I mean, they're big enough. Oh no! He's like, Mom, I'm ready to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm tired of this life of suffering. Put me back. Fair use. That's what I read it. <laughs> so this child did a true and false quiz. And for all the questions, what does it say? Does it say false or does it say true? Smash like if you see true. Comment if you see false. You know why he did that, right? Because he doesn't know. My but the teacher <laughs> marked everything wrong. He ain't fooling me. That's like the worst case scenario. You could have just did true for all of them and then had a 50-50 chance, but no. When you play yourself. The teacher like, no, I ain't playing this game. She's trying to put makeup on just like her mommy. Oh, mom must suck at makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why mommy works going out like that. She's probably a clown. My daughter told me there was a monster outside the window of her dollhouse. I know! It's gonna eat the Barbies. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I'm coming for your Barbie bum. It's a lot of plastic. When I grow up, I wanna be a dog. All men are dogs. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, be like Billy, follow your dreams. Do you want to be a dog? It's 2019, you can dang well be a dog. You could be an attack helicopter if you so very wanted to. <gasps> I work at a big chain bookstore. Somebody at another store found this while tidying up the children's department. <gasps> oh no, Kermit! Oh no, Kermit! <laughs> Got an evil test they put him through. What were they trying to do? Dissect him. <laughs> Isn't that what you do to frogs? Yeah, have you ever done that to a frog? Did you do that uh, in school? Oh, I was absent that day. Anytime you stayed home from school, did you play video games? Like when you said you were sick, did you just play? Yeah, all the time. You know when Kingdom Hearts came out? Mm -hmm. I told my mom, well, I'm not feeling good. I well, now. Stay home. And, then she was, and every time I said that, my mom would always let me stay home. <laughs> like she would take it really seriously. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, I just played. Oh no! Such a liar. Can't spell liar without Leah. <laughs> I mean, whatever makes you comfy, whatever helps you sleep. Good thing it's the future now and we have a thing called eye masks. Back then they used Tonga trucks. <laughs> <laughs> I dream of trucks. So in this kindergarten class, they asked the children, what would you do if you were ruler of the world? And this little girl named Promise was like, I would destroy it from outer space. <laughs> Oh god, then what? Oh no! Why? Why, child? What's your plan after that? What are you gonna do? Go home to my mommy and daddy. Oh, wait! <laughs> They're gone! Teacher, dabs on them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I was a teacher, I would dab on the kids to assert my dominance. <laughs> <laughs> They're already kids. What do you need to assert dominance? Uh. No, because some kids don't listen. So you dab on them? So you'd be like, Billy, sit down. And you'd be like, no. And you'd be like, you better sit before I, I, I dab on you. And they'd be like, <laughs> he, he freaks out. He's like, he would freak out. He'd be like, oh no. Oh, no, not dabbing. Don't no, dab on me again. Also, me and my friend are talking about this because my friend is a teacher. And I was telling them, I was like, these kids like overreact. Like, you gotta assert your dominance by like doing the floss better than them or do like the orange justice better than they do it. And then it's like, they'll listen to you, they'll respect you. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and comment below something weird you did as a kid. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.